Hey guys, it's WizKid here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Nerf integration that me and my dad have been working on. We integrated a Centurion barrel and a, um, a, uh, Retaliator barrel onto an Apollo. This Apollo has no internal modifications at all. Right now I have the shortest, uh, rifle clip that I magazine that I can put in it and I have the Centurion um, bipod on t on the uh, retaliator barrel that we cut down and have glued into pit place now this performs the exact same way as it used to so all we did was we added in this PVC pipe fitter thing um, called but it looked I don't know if we have another one like it but yeah we put this we screwed this PVC barrel tube onto the original barrel and then we we broke part of the actual Centurion barrel inside internally so we had to cut that off and glue it onto here we were going to cut this off, make it flat, but we decided not to do that. And we're going to paint it tan and blue and black and silver and weather it. And I will hopefully show you guys that at once it's done. Um, we're going to put a scope on the top of this, but I think this might interfere with seeing through it, but that's just me. And we are going to put in on this origin old recon stock onto the back of the Apollo to give it an actual stock. Other than that, there's nothing else that we have done. We have cut down the original tack rail. And other than that, it's still normal. Primes like normal. And shoots like normal. So yeah, let me show you guys a firing demonstration of this blaster now. Here is the firing demonstration for the uh, Centurion Barrel Apollo with no internal modifications. As you can see in this demonstration, the Apollo is still getting max performance that it can be, which I was going to put a K26 spring in it, which is, where is that? Oh well, I had it over here somewhere. Oh well, I had K26 spring that I was going to put into this, but I thought it might mess around with, I thought it might damage the gear system in the back for priming this, and I'm going to figure out why this makes as much noise as it does, but other than that, this is all that I have done with the blaster. While dremeling this, this down, I accidentally made a hole, so I put a epoxy there to cover it, and other than that, this is pretty much the completed blaster before painting. I'm going to try to sand down this white bit so it will set better when painting it. 
and we put this see-through plastic filament there that looks like this, but yeah, it's like this plastic thing that we were cutting out to put into the blaster right here. And I think we're going to put a bit here, but I don't know. That was a discussion that me and my dad had. And other than that, we're going to put the recon barrel onto this. And other than that, this is pretty much complete. So this is my, my, my Centurion Barrel Apollo that I have made. Thank you very much for watching. I am WizKid, and this is my Apollo.